something fucked up happened to me over these last few months, and I have largely kept it to myself, because I thought that it was just a small problem, and that I would be able to fix it without it becoming a larger problem, and that didn't end up being the case. So, I started to struggle around November, mid-November, late November maybe, noticed myself eating just a little bit more than usual, and then I go back to my normal patterns, and then as time went on I started to have more and more compulsions to overeat, but it wasn't anything I would consider binge eating until probably early January is when I had my first like real binge since a long time ago. Well, it seems like a long time ago after everything I've been through. But then it was like, okay, it was just like this one little thing, and now I'm just gonna like put this demon back in the cage, right? And then, you know, I'd go a couple days without doing that, and then binge again. It's like, crap. What the crap is happening to me? And I started to get really deep into my journaling and thinking about what is going wrong here. Like, why am I doing this? And the pattern kept going like that. You know, a few days off, a few days on. And then it hit this stride where it was almost a daily thing. And in the past, like, month, <laughs> I've gone from... I was down to about 160 pounds, and in about a month, no shit, I'm like probably about 210. <laughs> it's a lot easier to gain weight than it is to lose weight. Now honestly, if I went like three, four days without overeating, I'd probably lose like 15, 20 pounds because I'm probably literally full of shit right now. Full of shit at many levels right now. <laughs> but it's still startling I am on a dangerous path and I haven't been able to admit that to people and, and just a couple very close people in my life know this until now when I say it on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube or whatever but it's like <clears throat> You know, I don't really know why I would put this online. Um, I don't know why I do that. This might not stay online. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring myself out right now. But right now, it's like, I just want to talk about this thing and be honest about it and be open about it. I barely talked about this with my family. They know that I've been gaining some weight lately, but so I'm like putting it on fucking internet. But I, uh, I don't know. It's just the way I'm wired sometimes. It's just easier for me to just talk to this fucking camera and just put it out there and just let people do what they will with it. And maybe I'll regret that. Maybe I won't. The reason this shit's so hard to admit is because I've been through this before. And it's like, I really thought I had it this time, you know? And maybe, maybe I do. Maybe it's not too late. I just know that I can wake up every single day and be like, okay, I got it today. And that doesn't matter. That saying I got it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters are my choices. Day in and day out. When I was really rocking my recovery, my choices still mattered. But they weren't as crucial as they are now. Maybe in some way they were. <clears throat> Because one choice leads to another. But right now, every single choice matters absolutely. Every single thing that I think and do in my day can completely derail me or build me into stability. And this is the time to remember what brought me into my stability and my recovery to begin with and to reintegrate that into my life. That's essential. It's, it's life or death as far as I'm concerned. For me, what does that mean? Well, part of it means surrender to a, 
it's even hard for me to say it. Because I got to a point where the word almost makes me cringe, and that's part of my problem. But to surrender to a program, you know. I have issues up the wazoo with 12-step programs. There are all kinds of programs out there for recovery. I can pick them all apart. I can pick apart any therapist. I can pick apart any counselor, mental health professional, anything. I can pick it right apart because I am smarter than everyone, right? Look where my intelligence has brought me. And that's one thing that I learned early on in recovery. <laughs> it's the stuff in here that got me to this point. It's the stuff in here that got me to the absolute bottom of the bottom. Where I just had to surrender. I didn't have a choice but to surrender at that point. Now I have a choice. Like I can choose to surrender or I can choose not to surrender. Because I still have some fight in me. I, I can still be stubborn, right? But that's not a good thing. <laughs> But I don't want to be so beaten to within an inch of my life that all I can do is surrender. Like, <clears throat> I don't ever want to be at that point in my life again. That means I have to make the choice. That means I have to continually make the choice just for today. And defer my brilliance to, <laughs> to, to greater things outside of myself. To listen to people. To learn from people. To be teachable. To pull my head out of my damn ass. And it's hard, because once it gets up in that ass, it likes to hang out in there. I can talk some good talk, you know, but it's just about doing the thing. But right now, I think that talking the good talk is part of me getting closer to doing the thing. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> go for a freaking run right now at like 5.30 in the morning. It's like 6 degrees Fahrenheit. I haven't gone for a jog in like weeks. I'm like... 20, 30 pounds heavier than the last time I went for a jog. It's going to be fun, you know? Yeah. Just have to make a choice. I'm just going to do the best that I can. Thanks for listening.